they saw, they will think the power, they can create the mess. Uh, but they also have the power to sweep the mess. So uh, we think it's the responsibility of the media now to change the narrative and also to move towards uh, positive reporting on international immigration, being balanced, being professional, taking cognizance of Ubuntu and being responsible. Uh, uh, that is actually, we think, it's a very good step in going forward uh, so that we can clear the mess that was created uh, by uh, misrepresentation and characterization uh, on international migration uh, done by certain media uh, platforms. And also, uh, we also think that uh, we, we, we analyze the data and we realize that uh, the majority of the reporters there, they are freelance journalists and local uh, reporters who report on international uh, immigration. We are not saying locals cannot report on international immigration, but uh, perhaps we uh, appeal uh, for responsible authorities and even stakeholders to come up with the strategies to ensure that these local uh, uh, reporters, they are fully equipped to write on issues of international immigration. Uh, that we think is very critical and it's very important because previously in other uh, parts of the world we saw how uh, ill-equipped reporters could create a lot of damage uh, on an otherwise very uh, important uh, topic. Uh, we saw that in, in Rwanda uh, where international reporters and even local reporters who were not well equipped on covering uh, ethical dynamics and also understanding the history uh, of uh, Rwanda, uh, they could make mistakes in erroneous reporting, uh, which was actually found to be very alarmist and uh, led to conflict uh, uh, that saw the death of quite a number of Tutsi and uh, also the modern Tutsis. So uh, we think that they have to be trained on that. And also, if possible, they can also include uh, 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 reporters who have a background on international immigration, perhaps those with the uh, foreign, uh, or I mean, immigrant origin to actually report uh, in these areas. But they also have to be, to be uh, fully equipped. Uh, uh, we also saw that um, the need for us as uh, researchers <coughs> and uh, uh, revolutionaries, uh, people want change, uh, to really interrogate the curricula and also the pedagogy. How are uh, the students of journalists at universities and college of journalism taught? Is the way they are taught humanizing or it's actually dehumanizing them? Or are they really empowered by the way they are really taught? Uh, uh, education and critical education scholars and researchers, they actually come up with the, what they call critical pedagogies, where, which they think are really important. We have in the likes of Paul Othier, the talk of, talk of uh, uh, collaborative uh, learning, which is empowering, uh, which gives power to the learner uh, to say the learner is not an object, but is a subject in the learning process. So the learner has experience, the learner has power. Therefore, uh, the learner must be empowered and uh, they must be respected. Uh, which is different from directives, ways of teaching where the learner is given uh, based on curriculums that are exported from other parts of the world. Uh, which parts of the world have no history uh, like ours. For instance, if we use a curriculum from Britain, when we are in South Africa, a country that was robbed by colonialism and apartheid for years, over 100 years, and then we are importing a curriculum uh, that reports on the position of advantage from Britain and using it to report on uh, a critical issues in South Africa, which is a, a red a divided society because of the levels of colonialism in the apartheid. Uh, we are not doing anything to bring together people of diverse backgrounds, but we are only feathering in worsening <coughs> conflict. We are also worsening division in that community. So we call upon uh, media practitioners, especially those in the education sector, to also look at the curriculum and also uh, the pedagogy and to say, is, is it really uh, empowering, uh, empowering enough? So uh, th those are some of the recommendations. We also looked at uh, 
what is coming now in the media fraternity to say uh, there should be what you call in South Africa Ubuntu journalism when we look at you uh, we look at uh, the human rights issues the aspect of humanity do we look at a person as a human being that we report about do we know the impact of our reportage to, about that person to the larger public are we saving that person who are killing him because we want to make money is our agenda profit making or to save life? <coughs> Those are the issues that uh, we think reporters and journalists should be first interrogate before they start uh, writing. We think that the pen can be used to promote peace and not conflict. But the pen can also be a very lethal weapon to kill, you see, to create war, genocide, as we saw in Rwanda. So we have to be very cautious in how we use the pen. There are also aspects to do with what they call now a solutions journalism. To say, but now these are journalists, these are community, uh, part of the community, people who are part of the community. Some of them are leaders in those communities. Some of them have actually contributed to social cohesion and peaceful coexistence among people from diverse backgrounds. Are we reporting about those incidents or those issues? Can it be true that uh, international immigrants are only involved in crime? And we have cases where uh, there's a lot of very good things uh, international immigrants uh, contribute to uh, the South African economy and also to the development of their own uh, communities. If we look at the issue of VAT, we know everyone who is in South Africa uh, actually pays VAT and that VAT contributes to the fiscus. And uh, are we looking at that also? And uh, are we looking at job creation by some? Uh, uh, international immigrants who have actually successfully created employment uh, for the masses, even for the South Africans, uh, for the, the locals. Uh, are we looking at that? Uh, uh, we don't see much of that in most of the newspapers, particularly with regards to the uh, Daily Sun uh, electronic newspaper, uh, except one article that we saw of uh, one uh, local woman who appreciated the knowledge that she got from uh, uh, an international immigrant uh, of a black origin. So we, we think that that area must be really, really uh, actually uh, interrogated and uh, what good things that uh, uh, immigrants and refugees contribute to South Africa must be found in the media, even uh, in the headlines, you see, to create or to portray uh, international in, uh, immigrants in, the, uh, in, the, in, a, in a good light. So those are the issues that a journalist must be responsible and they must actually promote peace and they should be ethical and professional in reporting.